What up, IDS mob? Dating coach Harry Wilmington here. And today we're going to be answering a question from a guy that wants to know, what do you do when the woman's the one that's coming to you early on asking about a relationship and telling you that she needs a guy to tell her that he likes her in order to develop feelings. Now, this is a bit of advanced stuff because this is stuff that I advise you guys not to do. You know, I tell you guys, don't talk about feelings. You're going to be dating her for two to three months. Don't bring up trying to be in a relationship. Just be there consistently and she will want to date you. So when a woman comes and gives you the speech of like, oh, I need the opposite of that. Is that what she actually needs? Or do you continue doing the same program that I've taught several times to you guys before? Let's go ahead and dive into that. So this guy writes, he says, so I follow you and Corey Wayne on YouTube. Corey Wayne is another male dating coach. And both of you have said that women need two to three months uh, to date you, which I've, I've said that. And he's also said that the reason we both said that is because we both have followed a guy named Doc Love who died in 2020. But for years, he was giving out a slew of dating advice that actually helped me immensely on my journey towards becoming a better dater and a better guy in relationships. And so he taught a lot of people over the years. A lot of the terms that we use today were started by him. And so he's a guy, even though he's, he's deceased, he still has a website. He, they still put out his weekly um, podcasts and shows. So it's definitely worth signing up for his newsletter as well. I, I, that guy it helped me immensely. So anyway, he said, uh, one thing that Corey Wayne has said is that women are attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. Well, he does say that. And I've also said similar things. And that's actually based on studies that have been done that have shown where, where women don't know if a guy they're looking at in the picture has either expressed like or hasn't expressed like. If, if they don't know, they have found that those women tend to be more attracted to those guys when, they're, when they've been told that they're not sure if the guy likes them or not. So that's why when you're dating, you coming out after the first or second date and saying things like, oh, I really like you. I can see myself with you. I think we have a future together. You're so, like that kind of stuff can actually make a woman start to feel less attraction because there's something to be said about the mystery of you not fully telling your feelings to her and her now having to try to dig deep and figure that out. And the action of that will make her brain think, why am I caring so much if this guy likes me or not? It, and why am I doing so many activities to try to get him to like me or to tell me that he likes me? Maybe it's because I like him. So that's a way for women to actually convince themselves that they like you when you're not blabbing about your feelings so early on in the dating process, you know? And that doesn't mean, by the way, that you're not showing her that you care or that you want to, you know, do things with her. That's why you're asking her on dates. You're taking her out. You're making her laugh. You're showing her a good time. You're hooking up with her and you're continuing to do that kind of stuff. You show your like with women through actions, especially during those first three months. If she gets all butthurt about it, she can come to you and start asking those questions, which again, that motion is going to make her think, but why am I going to him in the first place? It must be because I like him. Anyway, so he says, I went out on a date a few days ago. We did talk about relationships. She started it. So again, this is a woman where it's different from most because again, guys, you shouldn't be ever bringing up being in a relationship. But sometimes women will start getting that talk out early. And there's reasons for that, which we'll get into. But anyway, so he says, I try to steer clear, bravo, and just get to know her, which by the way, she asked a lot. I mean, a lot about me and my family. Now that's great. If a woman is coming to you on date one and is already trying to ask you all the questions, that's amazing because most women I find are trying, to, if you let them, they'll do 70 to 80% of the talking. As a guy that's trying to do his due diligence, that's actually fine because you want to try to find out as much about her as possible. But ideally, you're with a woman that has good communication skills and is also going to be trying to ask you about your life and your family, and it's not just all about her. And that really is a key sign that you have a very highly interested woman that you're dealing with. And that's those ones are a lot easier to date in terms of trying to attract them. Now, with that said, he says, she did say that if a guy doesn't tell her that he likes her, she moves on. Or if the guy doesn't make a move, oh, or if the guy doesn't make a move. My question is, how do I go about that without trying to lock her down and fighting the urge to text? By the way, guy, please, for future comments, please, please, please punctuate. I'm having to like figure out where I'm supposed to put periods and stuff here. So let's go back to what he just said, right? He says that she said if a guy doesn't tell her he likes her, 
then she moves on or if the guy doesn't make a move. So what this reads to me as is this is a woman that for whatever reason, whether it's her upbringing or past situations, she is very insecure to the point where she almost comes off like an insecure guy where, you know, I've talked before on here about how, you know, you, as a guy, you don't want to go on dates saying things like, so where do you see this going? Or, or do you like me? Are you having a good time on this date? And that's basically what she's saying. She's saying, I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm so insecure about myself that I'm not sure if I can actually pull you or if you're playing games with me or whatever. So I need you to just tell me at any given time that you like me. So I know that that's what's happening. And these are one of those things where a woman may say that legitimately thinking that that's what she actually wants to happen. I will tell you from personal experience that when I've had women tell me something similar and then I actually did that thing, it usually resulted in them starting to lose attraction to me. You know, there's something to be said again for the mystery of it all. You not directly verbalizing, I found more often than not is going to result in her having more attraction. That said, there are women out there that have gone through trauma or have had bad relationships in the past to where they're damaged in some way. And so now they become that person that wants reassurance all the time. Now, one of the things that you need to understand is that the, the dating principles and tactics that I've taught, that Corey's teaching, that Doc Love taught, that uh, David D'Angelo used to teach, like all these guys, right? It's designed to work on women that are relatively healthy, ideally had like a good upbringing and are not going to have low self-esteem, right? So when you come across this woman and she's saying, I need you to tell me that you like me at any given time, that is a sign of a woman that probably has low self-esteem. As such, the stuff that I'm teaching you may not work on her. And that's good because that means that she is not actually a healthy woman and that she is probably going to be difficult to date anyway. Now, am I saying that this means this particular woman is going to be like that? Well, let's go to the other half of her statement where she says, or if a guy doesn't make a move. Now, this is the part that you as the guy should be doing and paying attention to because you as the guy should be making moves to women that indicate you're trying to escalate things. So when you're asking her on the date, that is a move. When you, you know, nervously, but you, you know, boldly go in for a kiss, that is you making moves. When you try to invite her up to your place, that is you making a move. So these are moves that women are going to want to see that let them know, oh, he's trying to take it to the next level. And I know you might think, well, what if they think that that's just me trying to get them into the bedroom? Again, this goes back to these things are designed to help you weed out the women that actually aren't worth dating because they're going to be more hassled than they're actually worth. So if you're doing something as simple as, hey, you want to come up to my place? And her response is, oh, you're just trying to sleep with me. That is a woman that has gone through some major trauma in dating or in her past, and she's not able to just go with the flow. Because even if she didn't want to make that step, she could just say, no, I'm good, and that be it. She ain't got to bring in all this extra stuff or put on you like, oh, you must want to sleep with me. You're just trying to use me like all those other guys. Like, again, these things are designed to weed out those kind of women. So she's half right. And you as the guy should definitely be doing actions that indicate that you want to see her, and that you're trying to escalate things to a higher level. At no time, though, does this include doing things like saying, oh, I really like you. I just want you to know you're doing everything right on this date. Oh, I could totally see a future with you. Those are not things on average that really work. And even if you, even if they would work on this particular woman, you don't typically lose points for not doing that unless you're with a woman that, again, has gone through trauma and or has low self-esteem. Because, hey, some women out there date just as badly as guys. Some women out there are just as anxious and just as nervous and also don't know what they're doing and are also out there making requests of guys not knowing that the thing they're requesting is going to turn them off. Got it? So then he says, my question is, how do I go about that without trying to lock her down and fighting the, the uh, urge to text? Well, again, she said she wants you to make moves that indicate you want to see her. So you do that. You take her on a date, you show her a good time, and then at the end of the date, you go home. And then you wait a few days to text her for another date. If she decides between that time that she wants to reach out to you first and try to talk to you or say, hey, what's up, or how you doing, or whatever, you know that's code for, hey, I want to see you again, at which point you just set up another date on that text for a couple of days down the road, all right? So that's how you're going to do that, is that the goal is, I know you're saying that, you know, she's more old school the new slash guy, I'm 42, in the old school, texting didn't exist. Phones did, so we would still call girls up to ask them on dates, but 
in general, in her terms of her being old school, yes, you as the guy are going to always be the one to reach out to ask for the date. This does not mean you're reaching out nonstop. It does not mean you're reaching out to try to build rapport. I've had several women in my comments now comment about how they actually do not like when guys are trying to reach out just to try to talk to them about nothingness because spoiler guys, women have lives outside of you when they're dating. Like they're at work, they're hanging with family, they're spending chill time at home. They may also be introverts that just want to be in their alone time when they're not near you. And so you trying to text nonstop, that is a trick that the internet has made you believe needs to happen. I can assure you, I dated women of all age races, I mean, of all age ranges, and at no time have I had to overextend on texting in order to keep their attraction. I have tried where I text a woman every single day for a month, and by the end of the month, can you guess what happened? She lost interest. And this is a girl, by the way, that was saying, oh, I want to talk to you every day. Oh, you can email me, text me every day, and I'd love to hear from you. Did it, and next thing you know, boop. She stopped being interested. So again, just because she's saying a thing doesn't mean that that thing actually works. She may be saying a thing that she thinks sounds good and makes logical sense. Like it would make logical sense for you to be able to say to her, I like you, and for you to be able to text her nonstop and then have that be her way of knowing, oh, this guy likes me and therefore I'm going to have good feelings about him too. Unfortunately, I found that's typically not how that works. So what you do is the program that has worked best in terms of like the stuff that I'm teaching, whatever Corey's teaching, whatever else you've seen that you realize was probably going to work better than what you're doing right now, do that. And if she starts to get all fussy about, you don't text me enough, you don't call me enough, you haven't said I like you, again, don't assume, here's the thing, guy, you don't need to get every woman, you just need to get one woman. Ideally, one woman that is going to be sane. If you date somebody that is showing behaviors that indicate that she's a little loose or she's got trauma or whatever, she is not going to be sane enough for you to want to date. And if you try to make it work, it's going to drive you crazy because I've dated women like this, where if you're texting them and then you go to the bathroom for like five minutes, they're asking, where'd you go? What are you doing? Are you cheating on me? Or if you're not complimenting them every other hour, why didn't you say you like my dress? Or why didn't you say hi to me or blah, blah, blah? Like, Those women become very difficult. You want a woman that's going to allow you the space for this thing to naturally grow. And that means, hey, you may be getting to like her, but after like two or three dates, you might be still trying to decide on her. If she's wanting you after two or three dates to start saying, I like you, and oh, I want to spend more time with you, that is not a reasonable ask. And again, that's somebody that probably is going to need a lot more strokes Uh, verbally than than you're wanting to give in the relationship. So those are things to consider. So hopefully this answer has helped you out. I don't normally answer these questions during the week because I just show clips from my my show, but this question was just too good to answer. So hopefully that helps you out. If it did, consider leaving a cash app at dollar sign Harry Wilmington or consider leaving uh, a super chat somewhere on my YouTube page, right? For the rest of you guys, if you have any questions you want me to answer either on one of these videos or during the course of the show, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com or leave it in the comments below. I'm always checking comments, much like I did for this guy. Also, definitely go to my website, introvertdatingsuccess.com and check out the Introvert Dating uh, Success uh, Academy, (laughs) Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy uh, Community. It's a lot worse. But basically, it's like the Netflix of dating advice. You have a bunch of my various uh, video programs there, my audio programs, my eBooks, uh, interviews with experts, as well as a community whereby you can talk to other guys, including me, and when you have an- questions or things that you want answered in a more quick manner, right? I also offer one-on-one coaching at the website, so check that out as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high.